at one point in your lecture, you said that you had wanted to make beautiful moments out of normal things, mm. um, and you tied that to the notion of the everyday and the domestic. And I was wondering if you could elaborate on um, on that idea of the everyday, and maybe in relation to a specific piece or um, just in general, what your um, mm. what you what you're, you meant by that. I think that the notion of the domestic and the everyday, and the understanding that we are we are of the everyday as well as all the other goals that we're rushing about in mm -hmm. and we do familiar things that we forget about or we have conversations mm -hmm. where somebody remembers the content and it didn't mean quite so much to the other person and they've moved on mm -hmm. with something else it's a very fragile balance and in a way I think I started to discuss that with a work called heirloom mm -hmm. which I didn't talk about but that was uh, a kind of um, a ghost-like interaction with the memory of objects that could be part of that heirloom, that kind of historic family connection. Mm. But I think where I am now with the domestic and the moment and understanding how important those things are is with the Wedgwood dust. Mm -hmm. And the Wedgwood dust, you know, household dust, is interesting because it encapsulates things and it tells you off. Mm -hmm. Kind of tells you that you should have done other things. And mm -hmm. sometimes you don't even see that till you move an object and you realise that the dust has accumulated. And in a way, the Wedgwood dust takes that activity over, over what is very mundane, mm -hmm. very, very normal activities, but it makes them special. Mm 